this year being a heavy snow year, we started at the lodge and right in the beginning the snow depth was above what I'd say normal, maybe heavier than normal. So ever since we started, you know, going up the road, it's taken a little longer, the snow depths being what they are, you know, you don't proceed quite as fast. So we've had to push a lot more snow, blow a lot more snow, and instead of making a lot better headway as we move up the road and like an avalanche, the area there was five to six feet deep just on the level. And so that takes us a little longer. And then every one of the chutes that we got in lower haystack, lower BPR, Red Rock, especially Red Rock twice, we had to go through there because of the, the avalanche slide that came in there first in the spring when we got to it and then about a week later it slid in again. So that you know, delays two or three days here, two or three days there. And it's just a matter of, you know, there's more snow to move and it takes longer to do it you know, pretty much all the time. And each time we come up a section of the road, you know, there's more obstacles than maybe there would have been the year before or two years before. So less than normal is not what it is this year. Well, here in this particular spot, the snow builds up and it's pretty deep here. There's, there's a pretty big drift right going into the rim rock. So you have your road profile on the hillside like this. As long as you have ground or dirt here to support your snow activities, you're good with the machine. But once you start pushing out and building up a big, large area of snow, then that snow can slide off. So right here, we're going to have to cut it all down and push it back to the rotary. And the rotary is going to have to launch it off and over the hill. And that's what goes on. It might seem kind of, you know, why are they doing it this way? But that's the whole idea that they're doing it this way is because they cannot get out on the snow. Because if they get out on the snow with the machines, the possibility of the snow breaking loose. And that's what happened a few years ago when the one machine broke, you know, slid down. Unfortunately, it was, you know, a good place to happen. Other places aren't so good. So that's what they'll be doing. And this is a uh, not a real safe area because it's real steep. It's straight down, so the machines are parked over there at night on the other side of Oberlin or way back. So now we have to wait for them to come back through the rim rock, and then they'll start working this down. It'll take a little while, but that's where we'll be going. Well, that's our operator, Casey Glade, in the excavator. And this is the rim rock area, and there's a lot of problems with rock falls, and the snow is just full of rocks and debris, and we can't use the rotary in there. So what he's doing is trying to get as much snow off the road as he can, obviously, but you can see how the snow builds up along the wall. And so he can reach up there and he can pull off any of that residual snow that's left on the wall that would tip, tip out later and close the road or tip down on a car, something like that. So he's pulling a lot of that residual snow, that high snow down and then he's getting the dirty rocks and stuff and, and throwing them over the side. He could stay on the road bed, more or less, on the snow surface and he can throw, he's able with that long arm to throw the material out over the side. He's probably, he's probably about, I might guess, maybe 12, 15 feet above the road surface right there where he is. Here's the rim rock is deep. It just seems to get more of a drifted type snow. This isn't as much prone to avalanche buildup as it is. It's, this is the, the normal snow depth, I'd say, in, in the rim rock. You know, yeah, there's been years where there's 20 feet deep instead of 30, 30 40, you know, 40 deep. But it, it's a little above normal, but the rim rock is usually fairly deep. It's like the big drift. It, it doesn't get too much less one winter to the other, you know, or one spring to the other. I'm trying to, but it just takes longer because it's a, you know, a bigger area, a lot more snow, and, and, and so yeah, the rim rock is above normal, but it's fairly deep all the time. But this is not so untypical of a day as far as on the mountain in the rim rock or in the alpine section. 